If you're skillful with mathematics and can handle problem solving on a large scale, think about becoming a civil engineer. You would plan, design, and supervise the construction of a wide variety of structures and facilities, meeting challenges such as water supply, traffic congestion, and pollution. Let's learn more from a civil engineer. My name is David Ofield and I'm a civil engineer in training with Stantec Consulting. Um, basically a civil engineer is someone who uh, designs the, the life support systems of society. So uh, taking the most basic of infrastructure uh, and, and designing those components. There are many aspects of civil engineering, structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, and also transportation. Personally, I, I design more of the environmental uh, infrastructure aspects, so that would entail water treatment, supplying water to communities and taking that water and, uh, and returning it back to the environment. Generally, when I get to work in the morning, I, I start by just reading any emails that I may have got. Um, I always have like, a list of things to do, so I, I tend to plan my day out like that. Typically, as a civil engineer, you'll be working in an office. You'll be using your computer a lot, answering phones a lot, designing the actual projects. You need to write reports and do calculations. We also use AutoCAD. Uh, now, as engineers, we don't generate detailed design drawings or anything like that, but we do make sure that our designs work and are to scale. On any given day, I could be uh, having design team meetings where we go over progress on a project, uh, working uh, on potentially multiple projects at any given time. Part of being a civil engineer is to uh, figure out what the root problem or issue is and to design around that. So to be able to see that through to completion, you need to make up a successful team. You need to have uh, good planners, good designers, good managers and those are all components of being a civil engineer. Periodically, um, as a civil engineer, you'll be required to leave the office and go out to site, uh, whether it's to gather information about the project you're currently working on, like the existing field conditions, or to see a project you're currently working on in construction and monitor progress. One day I could be out at a wastewater treatment plant, and the next day I'll be out at a, at a river uh, works site. Uh, generally, when you're on site, uh, there are specific safety requirements, and they're usually pretty stringent. Um, those could include, you know, steel-toed boots, hard hats, uh, safety glasses. A lot of the time it's specific to that site. I liked the, the math and the physics classes in school, so engineering seemed like a natural fit for me. I wasn't sure exactly what type of engineer I wanted to be. Uh, I didn't really, really realize that until after first year of university. Civil engineering, I guess, is where I ended up, so I'm happy about that. It's a four-year program. You take a number of different courses related to engineering design, um, and after your four years of university, you will start looking for jobs or potentially move on to a postgraduate degree. Most people would think that we're probably looking for technical capabilities when somebody comes out of a field like engineering through university. But what it comes right down to is we're actually looking more for personality, uh, a work ethic, and a trained work ethic, and an ability to learn. I think to be a good engineer, an, an engineering designer, you need to be creative. You need to be able to like take an out-of-the-box approach to design and make sure that um, you're really considering all the potential options uh, so that you can give the client the, the best product possible. I, I think there's a lot of opportunity for growth, whether it be as a manager or as a designer. Myself, I, I really enjoy the project management side of things. So I think I really want to explore that project management side a little bit more. I want to be the guy who clients think of first when they want a project done and done correctly. The most satisfying thing is to um, see a project from beginning to end, like from the very early stages of conceptual design, uh, where you're sketching like just rough ideas on a piece of paper, figuring out different ways that it could potentially work, to the next stage and the next stage and then all the way to a building where you get to walk around and like, you know, really see what, what you've created. I really enjoy my job as, as a civil engineer uh, because it, it's very challenging. I enjoy being part of a team and seeing a project through to completion. I think it's very rewarding at the end of the day to see one of your ideas come to life uh, and in a material way. So I, I think that's why uh, civil engineering is a great career choice. To become a civil engineer, you'll need a Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering, which is a four-year program. 
Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the Occupational Profile on the ALICE website. And learn about related occupations, like Civil Engineering Technologist or Community Planner. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.